Hi, crafty friends. You guys, I love using these hula skirts from the Dollar Tree because they, we can make them into so many different things. So I'm using an adult size one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull off um, a bunch of them, <laughs> a bunch of these. I Gosh, I probably should have counted, but that's okay. So they're kind of folded. Two of them are folded in half over that twine. So we're just gonna keep them in the shape that they're in because I'm going to feed these through the center of this wreath form. And then I'm just going to fold it over kind of like how it was on the twine. So for each one of the little, I guess we'd call them spokes, um, I'm going to feed one of them through because we're gonna use one whole one for each spoke. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start twisting it around. And what I found is you can go all the way down to the end and then it will go all the way back to the other side. And then I just used a little hot glue to keep it all in place. Because we're gonna cover this whole thing. I thought this would be perfect for wall art. So kind of like a faux rattan look. And uh, it's super simple, just a little time consuming. But once I figured it out, I kind of would hang it off the edge of my craft table there. And then I could really go quickly and just wrap each one of the edges. So like I said, I just would go down to the end and then go up and around just to kind of like almost like a tie off so it would hold taut and then go back down to the end and then hot glue and it turned out really, really well. So like I said, I have um, these strands for each one of the little spokes here. And then once we get all of that done, we're gonna have that little fill in part on the outer edge. So I was kind of thinking about as I was doing this, how I wanted to do that outer edge because I wanted it to have that same look um, but maybe just a little bit thicker. So what I decided to do was I did that same thing, but I used a little bit of hot glue just to kind of hold it in place. And then I just started going all the way down um, to the next spoke, as I'm calling them, and then um, kind of twisted around that and went back the other direction. And then again, just hot glued and we were all good to go. So. This is the back side right now. I can kind of tell by the way the center part looks. So what I ended up doing just to kind of fill in that center part because there were some parts that you could see through, I pushed one of them through, one of the pieces, tied it off and hot glued it in place. This is the back up now. And then once that was hot glued in place, then I flip it over and I just start um, covering each one of the areas where you can see some of that... Um, wreath form coming through. Um, sometimes I would use like a little dab of hot glue, but I just kind of um, worked around and round going through that center part so that it looked um, even on all ends. Um, you could just, you know, go once across and just cover an area sticking out and then just hot glue in the back. So it's totally up to you. I ended up using as much as I could. And look how cute this looks on the wall. I love this. I think we could even paint these. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to follow the page for more crafts.